We're moving on to uh, unit uh, number nine. And this is questions 28 to 31. In order to fly, so flies have to, they shiver pre-flight um, because they have to achieve a certain temperature, thoracic temperature. Okay, so there's the curve. Question one, or first question, <laughs> 28. For which temperature is there um, the greatest increase in thoracic temperature per minute? Thoracic temperature per minute. Okay, so first thing, uh, you have to be very careful, uh, uh, comfortable about reading graphs. So the first thing I'm looking at is I'm looking at the x-axis. It has time in minutes. I look at the y-axis. It's thoracic temperature. So they're asking for the greatest increase in thoracic temperature per minute. Per minute means rate. Right away, that means what is the rate of change? That's something over something. And uh, we know that rise over run, you know, rise over run gives us uh, the delta y over delta x, and this gives us a slope. And if, if we have thoracic temperature over time, um, that is going to uh, give us um, uh, the, the, the rate of increase of these slopes because all four of these slopes are positive slopes. But if we want to have the greatest rate, then we want to have the slope with the greatest, um, most acute positive slope. So this would be a, a positive slope that goes up at a faster rate than these positive slopes. And indeed, um, in looking at that, you see that the T0 at 30 degrees has the fastest increasing slope over time, and therefore that would be the correct answer. And to choice D for 28. Uh, consider the line at resting temperature 20 degrees. During the first two minutes, the heat loss from the moss is most likely to have been... So the question is about the heat loss from the moth's thorax is most likely to have been, well, it has to be less than the heat production because the heat production has to be so significant that it has been increasing the rate um, uh, of this uh, temperature. So the temperature is increasing. If the temperature is increasing, the uh, production of heat by the animal must be outpacing any losses. And so uh, the answer 29 uh, would be B. Some additional information uh, for question 30. Um, there's a graph here and uh, which of the following is most clearly indicated by figure 2? As ambient temperature rises, okay, as ambient temperature rises, we see that the graph is going down. So we have a, 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 a graph that's going down uh, linearly. So, the, and the graph um, on the y-axis, we have rate of oxygen consumption. So that's, um, you know, respiration can mean breathing, okay? Respiration can mean breathing, but it, it also refers to, when, when we talk about metabolic uh, uh, respiration, this refers to the use of oxygen to break down organic molecules uh, for the purpose of uh, creating energy in the form of ATP and uh, waste products like carbon dioxide and water and things like that. So, um, so the rate of metabolic respiration here is consuming oxygen and clearly uh, as the ambient temperature increases the, the rate of metabolic respiration decreases significantly. You know, those other things that Queen uses more anaerobic respiration, we don't know that. We know that the aerobic respiration is going down. That's what we know for sure. And uh, Queen uses more aerobic respiration. Actually, it's the exact opposite. The graph is going down. And the rate of metabolic respiration increases. It's the exact opposite. So um, next is... Uh, 31 at 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I'm looking at 10 degrees Celsius. I see that corresponds to 120 on the curve. So 
Oxygen consumption each minute in a 0.2 gram bumblebee would be. Okay, so then we, uh, we write this out at 10 degrees. As I said, I see 120. Okay, so now I'm going to be careful with my units. Um, it's, it's mils oxygen per hour and um, per gram body weight. So we have mils per hour per gram. Okay, so uh, if you don't see it, I wrote 120. <laughs> so uh, then, uh, what do we have? So so now I've, I've got to uh, convert this because um, I need milliliters. So I have to get rid of, uh, you know, time and all these things, the minutes. So we have mils per hour. So I'm going to multiply this uh, to get rid of hour I'll have to put one hour is 60 minutes so one hour is 60 minutes I'll just scribble this out one hour 60 minutes okay so by doing this I'll have hours cancel and uh, and I get 120 over 60 which is obviously it's two and um, and that's two mils uh, per minute actually two mils per minute per gram and then I can uh, multiply this by um, 0 0.2 grams and I have uh, 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.4 uh, mils per minute wow imagine just showing up and having to, to look at this <laughs> Anyway, so 0 0.4 uh, um, mils per minute. So, and the question was, what is the oxygen consumption each minute? So the oxygen consumption would be 0 0.4 mils each minute. And that's not any of the answer choices they provide. So the answer, it would be D. Neither A nor B nor C would be correct because we just calculated the correct amount.